anything. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, I'll catch. Try it hand. Oh, thanks, Roger. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, I'm the cab, I think. Are you all right? Yeah, of course. Right, what was it you wanted, Sonia? Uh, one of them. That, 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 and that. How much is that little one? Oh, pay me later, Nigel. Russell's got the morning off. I haven't had a chance to get a change yet. Uh, what are you doing here? She's not begging, is she? No, I'm not. Just because you don't buy me treat. No, she's all right. Well, she's not taking advantage. No, it's great having her around, really. Her and Claire get on like a house on fire. It's great standing there, place. Come on, let's get going. Mm. She's a good kid, she is. See ya. See ya. Why is it your kids always play you up there for anybody else, eh? Are you all right? Is it me or is it hot in here? Well, not compared to that long dry. You know, when all those dryers are going, you get heat stroke in that place. What can I do for you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's about Ricky. What about him? Well, he's in and out of that flat, and he's driving us round the bend. One minute he's banging, the next he's drilling. I mean, Alan can't get a wink. And of course, when I get home, it's me who gets it in the neck. Well, what can I do about it? Take the keys back. Oh, go on, just till we move out of there. I'm sorry, Carol, I'm really not up to this today. Well, if you're not well, you should be in bed, shouldn't you? Charts will be a fine thing. Oh, can I come on, boy? Sandwich, Kev. I haven't got all day. I'm sorry, it's coming. Just give some What, Nigel's again? Not very good, mate. Uh, You're bound to get days like that, aren't you? I've got a date for the inquest, 18th September. <laughs> all right. I don't know how I'm going to cope. Take it easy, man. I'm going to be in the same room as him. Who killed Debbie? What do I do? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Accidental death. Open and shut case. He gets off, I just sit there. <sighs> Can't get angry. Can't say how I feel. Can't do anything. Sorry, yeah. Well, it's got to be done, hasn't it? So what do you reckon it is, then? Sounds like some kind of virus to me. Well, you heard that other woman. Her husband ain't there. It must be the Vic. Shh. Stop. I thought you wanted to speak to Kath. No, I've got to go. Uh, tell her I'll see you later. See you, Nigel. Why not? If a public place is poisoning people, then it's everybody's business to know. Yeah, but you haven't got any proof, have you? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? You don't stick someone in a pub kitchen without proper training. Ain't that right, Kath? What? The food at the Vic's really gone downhill recently, isn't it? Well, there's some kind of bug going around and Sanjay so seems to think it's food poisoning. Well, what's it got to do with the Vic? Well, everyone who's eaten there has gone down with it. Oh, thanks, Sanjay. That's news I've had all morning. Can yeah, I have a toasted cheese, please, Kath? Right, come in. Amal, how's Ted and his family? Who's asking? Me. Well, I was thinking, if they're moving back into the area, they might want to join the quiz team. You know, get involved with the locals, get a feel for the place. Well, I'll mention it here. Yeah, and can you turn to ask Sarah to come along? Because, I mean, she's got loads of brains, hasn't she? She's doing her GCSEs. And I think I'll give Millie and Ethel a call. Yeah, they can answer all the pre-war questions, can't they? You're only interested in Ted's open when you silly quiz. Well, I'm trying to organise a family get-together. What more do you want? I can't believe you're taking this so seriously. Well, someone's got it. We've got a war on our hands. What's so funny? Michelle, I woke up this morning feeling like death. I'm running this place single-handed. I find that I've been poisoned by some chicken I'd be having night, and my son's a maniac. I've got to laugh at Sammy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks. What was it you wanted earlier? Oh, I just wondered if something was wrong with you. You seemed a bit off since last night. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is that what I said? No, Phil, it's got nothing to do with you. I've just been feeling a bit ill again, that's all. I didn't want to bother you. It ain't food poison, is it? How did you know? Well, Sam's down in Arthur Square, apparently. Yeah, seems like she got me and all. Oh, and her dodgy paella, re-eating it for the evening. Mum's been doing her nut with the amount of complaints she's been getting. Hold on a second, you had the chicken, didn't you? You all right? Yeah, no, oh, it's probably just the flu or something. I'd better be getting back in. Anyway. So, Kath, look, I, I know it's not a good time to ask, but, uh... Well, I had a call from Grant earlier. Yeah? Yeah, he, uh... He wants me to join him in Cumbria. I thought we could do with the extra money. Well, we got the bills for the work on the house coming, and I thought we might help with it. Well, then why not? Well, you don't mind it. I thought you would. Well, trust you, don't I? 
Will you be all right or no? Yeah, of course. I, I got Ted. What's wrong? No, I won't go. It's all right. No, I want you to go. Anyway, it'd be good to have some time to myself. You getting fed up with me already? No, of course not. Is that what we could do with the cash? <laughs>